What's up, guys? NBA talk. This is like a sort of a break from the NFL. I still have one more NFL game to go. I believe is the Oakland Denver game. Uh, so this is going to be after this video. So here it is: the New York Knicks versus the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz win one fourteen to one o nine. Um, ooh, this is this is something else. Um, pretty much the New York Knicks actually had uh the majority of this game in control. Um, like especially in the first half, of course. Um, the third quarter it was very very close. Um, Utah yeah Utah Jazz keeping it very very close, like two points, three points, maybe a little bit of five points at least. Um. Especially in the bottom half of the third. And that's when in the fourth quarter, that's when they really turn it up a notch. Um, they turn it up a notch on offense instead of much on defense. Um, they took a lot of jump shots, for sure. They took a lot of jump shots and a lot of cutting to uh, get their points in. Um, Gobert, uh, Hayward, uh, Ronnie Hood um, doing good jobs. Very good jobs. Um, fantastic. Uh, the New York Knicks, they tried their best. But unfortunately, we got holes in our system for sure. Um, Derek Rose tried to put them on their back, put it on his back, especially in the fourth quarter where he was trying to push a little bit through. Wasn't enough. Ended up with a loss. So here's the stats for us. Um, we got Ronnie Hood with 18 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, George Hill with 23 points, 9 assists, 2 rebounds, 2 steals. He's he's in home. He's at home now. You got people who could play defense around him. And he is more of an option in the scoring, which is also beneficial for him. This is a whole different story than in Indiana, uh, where he can barely put in some points in, barely above 15 points. Uh, so great job from George Hill. Um, Derek Favors um, coming in, thirteen points, six rebounds off of twenty-seven minutes. Uh, you got uh, Roy. I mean, not Roy. Ruby Gobert, I think. Uh, Rudy Gobert, um, thirteen points, eight rebounds, a steal, and three block shots. Um, he was a he had a big impact in this game, even with himself falling out. He still had a big impact, and this boy who had the biggest impact, George Hill. I mean, not George Hill, George Hayward, the return of the Bing guy, the guy who has been the man in Utah for many years, well, several years, is that his debut back after injury didn't been in any game since the start of the season. Twenty eight points, five rebounds. Good start to start the season. Um, and that's the uh, starters. Uh, the bench uh, a little bit lacking. Uh, uh, Joe Johnson pretty much being the uh, guy off the bench. 10 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals. And that's pretty much it you could say. Uh, nothing much else from everyone else. But great job from the Utah Jazz uh, offensively. Pretty good. Um, the New York Knicks. Yeah. Tough one. Uh, Christian Przingis with 28 points, 8 rebounds, and assists, and 2 block shots. He has improved greatly on the offensive end. For sure. Spreading the floor. Uh, cutting in. In precise timing. Uh, he just picks his moments. He really knows how to pick his moments. And his agile. He's um, quick for a big man. Hell, he is going to be a future guy for sure. He's going to be a future all-star if he keep playing like this. He just needs to keep at it and keep improving. Uh, you got Carmelo Anthony dropping 28 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, Derrick Rose with 18 points, 8 assists, 4 rebounds, and a steal. Uh, Joaquin Noah only played for 20 minutes, 4 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. A block and a steal. Uh, and you got Courtney Lee with 10 points. He shot 3 out of 8 shooting. 2 out of 2 from the 3-point range. 
six rebounds and three steals. And we look towards the bench. It looked all bounced out. Four points for Kyle Quinn. Um, five points from this boy Lance Thomas. He's back. 29 minutes. Um, Brandon Jennings with five points as well. And Justin Holiday with five points as well. And you got this new, uh, European guy, Zuka Minas, uh, with five points as well. So that's pretty much it for the New York Knicks. Um, we dropped to two and four. We're one and two at home, which is not a good way to start the season. We just need to take in everything else that's been going on. Um, we just got to do better. That's all. Uh, we also need to learn how to control the fourth quarter, which has been happened in the past last year, where we come into the uh, fourth quarter up, and then by the time it gets to the last minute or so, we already lost the lead, no way to come back, and this was the case. So hopefully we could control the time. We need to manage our time. Um, especially in the fourth quarter, um, maintaining our leads. That's a big issue in the fourth quarter for us. So that's it. That's it for the NBA for today. Just this video. Next video is going to be the Oakland-Denver game. So I'll check you there. Peace.